Thank you. Um, I thought I'd start off by um, saying that I'm not going to come up here and fearmonger about the security issues of the cloud. In fact, I would agree with Mike is that security in the cloud is absolutely manageable. And in fact, you could argue that security in the cloud can be better than security within the four walls of your corporation. So first, just a bit of background of Sophos. We are um, one of those companies that came out of the leading academic institute, Oxford. We were started by two PhDs out of Oxford back in 1985. And today, we're one of the largest IT security companies protecting businesses. We have a global footprint and uh, protect some of the largest companies around the world. Now, one of the things that we've seen since we've been around, since 85, is that the things that create security challenges is change. So changes in the IT landscape. So as new technology comes out, it creates change, and it's those changes that really create the security challenges. And you think about the floppy disk coming out, then being a conduit, conduit for viruses, then email, then web. All these changes began to change how uh, security or viruses were, were, were delivered. And the cloud is similar. But I want to touch upon a couple of changes that you've heard over the last couple of hours. So first of all, users want choice to hold, bring, bring, bring your own device into work. The one thing I'll say about that is everyone thinks it started with the geeks. It's actually started with the boardroom. The IT guys could actually control the geeks in the organization, but when the board member came in and said, I want to read these documents on the plane on my fancy new iPad, that's when IT organizations finally stood up and took notice, not only because that's what the board members wanted, because of the data that would be moving onto those devices. And if you think about what everyone's going to be doing over, over today is that they probably have their personal devices as a mobile device. They could be checking corporate email, but they're, and they could be corresponding with the office, but they're also using personal apps. They're also looking at the games, and they're, they're likely their own devices, not corporate devices. So we see this real blurring of data moving on to devices that's not controlled by the corporation, and things like Dropbox are fantastic facilitators of moving data outside the corporate network onto personal devices. Now, as you heard, it's not just the users that want choice, it's the IT, the CIO that wants choice. They want to embrace the cloud for various different costs or computing or agility reasons. And I'm not going to touch upon that because I think that topic has been well covered. And again, the, the topic of data, there's a lot of better examples that have been shared this morning about the amount of data that's being created and how the cloud enables that creation of the data and the processing of that data. But it is the data that really provides a challenge about embracing the cloud. It's the mobility of that data. No longer is the data contained within the four walls of the corporation. It now moves into potentially untrusted or trusted cloud providers or trusted or untrusted cloud apps. But also from that, it moves on to a whole host of devices that aren't owned and managed by the organization. So really when you think about cloud and cloud security, the biggest thing to think about it is about the data. The data is the important asset to consider. Um, so that's kind of the changes in IT. Now I just want to touch upon, we're in the unique position that we can see the changes of the cyber criminal and how that changes. And specifically, I want to, want to touch upon how they're adjusting their business models to take advantage of cloud computing, which is quite interesting. So cyber crime, crime is, is, is big. It's hard to estimate the sheer value of it. But what we see directly is the amount of malware. So, so the graph on the on the my left, your right, shows the rise in malware. And this, you see a number 225,000. That's 225,000 pieces of unique malware that or labs at Sophos see a day. 225,000 pieces of unique malware every day. That's a lot of malware. And if you go back a couple of years, obviously it was much smaller. Um, and it's just not Windows-based malware. Up until two or three years ago, it was largely Windows-based malware. Now it's moving on to Androids, it's moving on to um, uh, the, the Mac platform, any device that people becomes popular, inherently there's malware that's going to be written to try to target it. And what is it targeting? It's targeting data. It all comes back to data. This is a, a bit of an old example, but an interesting example. But a year ago, when Sony got, Sony's website got hacked and 100 million um, customer records got stolen, and, it is, and I think Sony estimated it cost them about $174 million. So we got a lot of malware, and it's no longer being targeted to disrupt computing and bring down machines. It's being targeted to steal data. Data is the target. Now, how, how is so much malware being written? How does this all work? Because surely you're not having those geeks in their basement writing 275,000 pieces of unique malware every day. No, it's automated. 
It's so automated that it's becoming a service that you can buy off the internet. So this is an example of, of an organization and you can buy it off the internet, it's called Crime Pack. Now this is a quintessential SaaS product. It is, a, you can rent it, you can rent it by the hour, you can rent it by the month. It's available in six languages. It's, um, it's, quite, it's quite modern. If you look at the reporting of it, it's, uh, it, it, it's actually has a user interface that, that's quite amiable. So you can buy this. So what's happening is that crime, in the cyber crime world, you don't have to be the writer anymore. You can think of the scam. So all the innovation is not about writing the malware anymore because there's a whole business behind that. The innovation is around the scam. And the biggest scam that really hit us last year is fake AV. And this is really where malware came in, it, it attacked your computer. What popped up was looked like a legitimate um, AV program. People typed in their credit card information and lo and behold, the credit card is stolen. This actually, the crime gang was, that was responsible for one of the major initiatives here was caught in the US, $70 million it was estimated they'd take. And recently in the Olympics, um, you have the Olympic theme scams, right? So the ticketing, all the thing about empty seats. There's a lot of spam going out there saying, hey listen, there's these seats that have come available, it looks like the official website, you go on, you enter your credit card information, and lo and behold, your credit card gets stolen. So a lot of social engineering innovation is happening um, around the scam, and the SaaS platform is actually enabling the malware writers to really accelerate their, 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 their attacks. So given that, so given that there's a, a real change, and I call it the dissolving perimeter network, people are, can't really stop, you know, bring your own devices, people want to adopt the cloud. So what advice do we give our customers, CIOs, when they consider the cloud? So firstly, um, Firstly, um, and this is, was touched upon I think earlier, is the biggest thing to consider when you're thinking about the cloud is the vendor you're entrusting. So it is much like if you're outsourcing, back in the day you're outsourcing your payroll processes to someone in India. The biggest thing to consider is what is the organization and what is the security postures of that organization you're entrusting your, 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 your information with. The other part of it is you need to employ the right policies, the right security policies, because it's the security policies around the data. So how does data leave your organization? How does data reside in that, that, that outsourced organization? Where can that data go? How does it get back? Is it encrypted? What laws and regulations are it, it um, subject to? And specifically, one of the biggest topics I get when I talk to, to, to CIOs is, is, is you know, what is the implications of regulations such as the Patriot Act in the US? Because as you know, many, many of the new cloud offerings Cloud offer, offerings are U.S. based, and specifically for European country, countries, thinking about putting personal and customer data in the cloud. What is the implication if they're using offshore providers on regulations? And this differs by by, by geography. Now, although the cloud is ultimately secure and will be secure, it does change the way you have to think about security, and that is coming back to that theme of data. So historically, security initially was about protecting the network, the perimeters around the castle. Then it was about protecting individual devices, company-owned devices. Again, now what the changes to the cloud and bring your own device are bringing in, it's all about protecting data. So you need to start to change your paradigm to how do I you know, stop machines from getting on my network, how do I protect that one device, to how do I protect the data that moves and transfers between all those different devices. It's a data-centric security policy today. So the last point I want to talk about is I've talked about how the IT organizations are changing, how the cyber criminal is changing, what you need to consider when you're adopting the cloud. I want to lastly close by talking about as a vendor delivering a service, how are we leveraging the cloud to deliver better security to our customers? So first of all, Complexity is the biggest enemy to security. And what's happened to the security industry is as the problems, problems emerge, multiple point products have emerged as well. The challenge of managing those multiple point, point products is, choose, uh, sorry, is huge. And as Mike said earlier, is the cloud is a fantastic platform to integrate different products together. So the cloud, there's solutions today, and Sophos is part of this movement to build solutions that are more integrated and using the cloud as a platform to integrate security offerings. Secondly, security is ultimately a service. And what we leverage the cloud is, is that as the malware rate rises, we can do real-time connections with devices 
to scan, even if we haven't seen that malware before, we can look for anomalies behaving on devices. So ultimately, the cloud is gonna enable vendors like us to put a framework in place to consolidate security offerings, but also ultimately make it more secure because of the pace at which those, um, or lookups and our, and, our, and our checks can happen. So in closing, security around the cloud is absolutely manageable. It is about protecting data. It is about having a robust data policies and tools that help you implement the robust data policies easily. And it's a paradigm shift, but it's absolutely manageable. So it's a trend that's not gonna stop. And um, as security, I don't think we're gonna in the way, but we're gonna help enable this, this trend. Thank you. Thank you.